Alright, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jimmy Wisenhunt. I am a 13-year veteran of Counter-Strike 1.6 and uh, also currently a professional shoutcaster for Counter-Strike Source, Counter-Strike 1.6, and a few other games that I dabble in here and there. So, I just want to touch on one, well, actually three different points. This is the uh, sixth time I've made this video tonight, and I can't seem to talk slow enough to get this out there, so I'm going to try to make this as easy to understand as possible. I keep getting a little out of hand with what I'm saying, so <laughs> let's try to dumb it down a little bit. So today we're not going to go through game play examples. We're not going to go in game and show you some pretty things. And uh, yeah, no picture books today, guys. We're just going to get right to the meat. Um, so we talked about the recoil in previous videos. We talked about the movement and skill ceiling and how I really feel the game needs to be done. With these current fixes, I still see some issues that are prevalent that cannot be fixed without a major overhaul of two major things. Um, we're going to talk about one quick bug before we jump into the uh, model size and why I think it's an issue. And uh, before we jump into the sound and how you all know it's an issue, and I'm not sure Valve knows that. Um, so let's jump into the flash flashes for a second. Uh, it's going to be very quick. Number one, the flashes we need to. Number two, I don't know how long the flashes last because I keep wanting to count every time I get flashed directly, but I can't because I'm busy like just smashing my monitor and like grabbing my keyboard and smashing off my forehead. And if in a good mood, I might go grab a cappuccino, come back, sit down, and hope I'm not still flashed. Fair enough. I hope that explains everything. The flashes need to be shortened up. Thank you for joining. Next topic. Next topic is going to be the model sizes. The model sizes are a major issue right now because what I see on maps like DE Dust 2, we're going to just use it as an example because it's a classic map. Everyone's played it if you've ever played Counter-Strike, and if you haven't, then welcome back to Counter-Strike after uh, 12 years or something. I don't remember when the map came out. It's been a very long time. But um, So Counter-Strike 1.6 um, versus Counter-Strike Go is how I'm going to use this example. Um, I could also use Battlefield as an example or um, a lot of other games. Um, even Call of Duty I could use an example in this scenario. One of the major issues with the current model size versus map size is that on um, entry points to B-bomb sites such as the tunnels, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, go jump on Dust 2. You go into the T-side tunnels into the bomb site. It is a little tunnel there, the kind of the exit into the bomb site. Well, it's too freaking narrow either because the model sizes are too short or the tunnel is too narrow. Um, I ran this scenario multiple times throughout the day when I was trying to play the new update because I was going to make an update video and I kept finding myself just like getting unbelievably frustrated before I could finish the video. So we're going to talk about this instead. Um, this is not a tactical entry point to a bomb site anymore because you're stuck rushing it. And even if you're spotted, if a CT plays smart, which they will at high level of play with your SK, Navi, um, if EG comes back around back-to-back -back gaming some top teams, they're going to play this smart, and they're going to sit in the back of the bomb site. they spot somebody, they're going to Molotov the, the tunnels, and the T's are stuck there all of a sudden. Whoops, they can't do anything, and uh, then once that Molotov is about to go, they'll flash it, and then the whole team's blind for like a bajillion seconds, and then they'll smoke it, and the smokes are so thick that you don't want to go through it, they're just going to spray through it and kill all of you. So, the issue right now is, in Counter-Strike 1.6, you had a very wide exit into the B-bomb site, and I feel that that was an absolutely great way to introduce this. I'll use a Battlefield 3 example. You can't just simply run around with a shotgun and point and click, or an automatic weapon, because that's not how it works. It's an open playing field. I don't think that's what Counter-Strike needs, but it's a good example. It needs to be more open. Um, sure, we had linear paths into bomb sites and only a few entrances to be. There's only three window, door, and the tunnels. But um, there needs to be more accessibility. We need to shrink those model sizes down. Also, DE Nuke, we cannot make it through the window right now. That is huge. Like, that has been used in so many clutch situations over the years. It has to be there. Um, I understand the, the map community, uh, mapping community, mod community, uh, brute maps, and all these guys. Hopefully, Volcano gets back into the game. We'll see some new maps that are maybe bigger. That's fine as well. But I would rather see things shrunk down like the models, then have to make bigger maps because that's harder to do. I mean, this is the simple solution, and I think this has been discussed in meeting. Pardon me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like after talking to some guys on the inside that it has been talked in some meetings seriously. I hope very seriously because this is what I'm proposing now. Um, it seems that after my first video I made, a lot of people kind of jumped on board to agree with a lot of things I had to say, and I hope you guys agree with this as well. This needs to be addressed, and I hope the model sizes get shrunk down. The sound is also a major issue. I won't touch on it too much other than the fact that I was on Dust2 just the other day, or actually today, and and uh, I was inside of the B bomb site near doors. I heard, I was a one on one. I heard the terrorist at doors without any, there was no discrepancy. Everyone on my team heard it as well. And he came from tunnels and shot me in the head because I was looking at doors. Um, that had also happened on DE Nuke today also happen on Aztec. And I mean, it's not a map thing. It's not a glitch thing. It just happens a lot. Um, not only that, if there are three uh, terrorists remaining, 
I always think that they're in the same place because once one person moves, the echo is so terrible that I think there's three people there. If there are three people there, I think it's one because I've been tricked so many times that that's what I think. So anyway, a little ridiculous. Thank you guys for tuning in. One last thing. I want you guys to post in the comments below what your problem is with the game right now. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? What do you think about the model size change? Do you think it's a major issue? Do you think I'm full of crap? Um, also, the flash is one or two. Um, let me know that as well. I will be making more videos throughout the week, not pertaining to any specific update but new changes to the games that I'm going to propose. There are a lot of them. Uh, along with that, there will be some Counter-Strike 1.6 tips videos along with source videos. Um, they kind of correlate with the type of... I don't try to get too specific. Things like crosshair placement, bunny hopping, movement, how to practice your aim, things like that. We'll get into that sort of stuff this week, but um, those are the main things I wanted to uh, touch on. Get this on Twitter. Get this on Reddit. Get this on Facebook. Get this on the forums, wherever you can possibly share it. Share it and help get the word out that we're not just going to sit here and you know, hope that they change the model sizes. Um, it's one thing when people go post things on the forums. It's another when everybody gets behind one movement and they say, this is what really needs to be changed. Um, don't just agree with me because you think that it's something that can be changed. Really think about this, guys. I want to hear your actual feedback uh, in detail. You can feel free to send me a message on YouTube. You can email me feedback at wizenhunt.tv. You can jump on the website, post it on a blog post, whatever you want to do. Just get the information to me. Um, get this out on the forums. And thank you guys for supporting me so far. Expect to see some more Match of the Weeks from ESCA. We'll see you next week um, or throughout this next week with some more videos. Really awkward moment when I can't click the button. See you guys soon.